So in 2021, we're finally getting good metal striker fired guns, but the question remains, do you pick aluminum because you like to carry guns or do you pick steel because you like to shoot guns? Tonight, we're comparing the P320 AXG Scorpion to the Walter Q4SF. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and this is the Sig Sauer P320 AXG Scorpion from Sig Custom Works, which don't freak out YouTube manual reviewer, that's what it looks like on the company website and that's what it looks like in my hand. And this is the Walter Q4 SF, which is a pretty basic looking gun and that's what it looks like on the company's website. That's what it looks like in my hands. So both of these guns are totally stock. So let's discuss why we would com be comparing these guns. Both of these guns have weird short full-size grips. Both of the guns have big honking slides with a bunch of stuff up top. Both of them feature pretty strong triggers for their product lineups. Both have removable grips. The Q4 only features a 15 round magazine, comes with three right out of the box whereas the Sig Sauer comes with three 17 round magazines right out of the box. Both have approximately four inch barrels, both have premium sights, and both of the guns cost well over a grand. Both of the AXG models currently available, this was a limited run and I think they finally stopped making it. Uh, both of them are selling for about $1,200 right now, whereas the Q4, if you can find one, sells for closer to $1,300. So clearly if you're watching this video, it's because you hate money and are trying to figure out which of these guns you can throw piles and piles of cash at, right? And that's why you're here, isn't it? Or maybe you're just living vicariously through me since I apparently hate money and have these two guns. Although if you're a shooter in 2021, it's safe to say that you hate money too since ammo's stupid expensive right now. This will be the only reminder that you go ahead and hit that subscription thing and like the video. I certainly help that and there's links in the description to like my Patreon page, all that good stuff that you can check out and let's get going. So initially what we're going to compare these guns on is perceived quality right out of the box. And to be honest, we're just gonna be talking about the Walter Q4 SF because everything about the initial quality on the Q4 SF is better than the P320. Like it's not worth even really talking about. P320 is not bad, it's just the Q4 SF is very literally the nicest striker fired gun that I've ever held. I had real high hopes for that old Hudson H9. Remember those things that turned out to be glorified paperweights and had all that promise and hype? Well, the Q4 actually kind of delivers on some of the promise that the Hudson had. And what I mean by that is the actual slide to frame fit on a striker gun, it's pretty good. It's got a pretty good lockup. The frame texture is okay. And where it really separates from the SIG is just all of the controls feel weighted with like spring weight or whatever it is in such a way that there's like zero slop in anything on the gun. The mag catch is like perfectly weighted with a spring. The slide stop has very positive spring tension. It works on both sides. It's a very nice shape to it. The trigger, I'm gonna factor into the controls. The trigger on the Q4 is bonkers. It's very, very good. Whereas the trigger on P320 I've referred to in other videos is saying it's like taking two carrot sticks and mashing them together until one breaks. And I still stand by that because the trigger on the P320 is just not that impressive. You're supposed to dry fire P320s with the magazine in because the slide needs the upward pressure from the magazine follower on the slide so that the gun works properly in dry fire. So this is a magazine that's empty. It is unloaded, but the trigger, it's just unremarkable. You pull the trigger to the rear. It's only about three and a half pounds, but you get on a soft wall and then it's just a bunch of creep until you get a break. There's not much over travel, which is nice but the reset is kind of anemic. The mag catch is on the level with the Walter, but it just, it doesn't feel like a $1,300 gun in the same way that the Walter feels like a $1,300 gun. Unless you're just comparing the cases because the case on the P320 AXG is really, really, really nice. Whereas the case on the Walter is only really nice. It, it's nice, but it, it's not quite as nice as the P320 AXG. As I mentioned, both of the guns feature removable grips. It is basically a three piece grip where the back strap and then two grip panels on the P320 and they're made out of G10 made by Hogue. The Walter comes with a single plastic grip and this is my biggest gripe about the Walter. While I really like the grip profile of the Walter grips, the texture, I mean, it's 
it's just lousy. Like it, it feels like it's fairly aggressive until you get your hands wet and try and grip the thing. And it's, it's not lot, as bad as gripping a bar of soap, but it's not particularly good either. So picking a winner between these two grips, it's lock grips because lock makes grips for both of these guns. And having tried the lock grips on both of these guns, you just, you, that's what you need. Grips on the P320, it make it feel narrow like it's just a regular plastic P320. Uh, it's a very medium sort of texture. It's better than the Walter marginally, but both of these guns benefit tremendously from something like lock grips. Both guns come with premium sights. The SIG comes with the X-Ray night sights and the Walter comes with an adjustable target rear and a black front. And why are you saying that, oh, blackout target sights aren't premium sights? Well, yes, they are. The Walter sights are precision machined and the sight pictures, absolutely fantastic. Very good for precision shooting. Adjusting the rear sight to dial it into your specific load is what you would expect to be able to do out of a premium pistol. So I really like the rear sight and the front sight combo that come on the gun. Whereas the SIG has got three dot night sights, but you do get to keep your sights when you put optics on the gun. Whether or not they co-witness, I guess, depends on what optic you choose to put on there. But I actually prefer the Walter sights. Uh, it just is a better sight picture. I'm able to print smaller groups. With dots on the guns, the groups are comparable from both, but I'm just able to aim with the more precise sights on the Walter a little bit better. Shooting the guns, they honestly behave pretty similarly. The Walter has its balance more forward around the front of the trigger guard. Uh, it's not super muzzle heavy, but it definitely pulls down more on the muzzle than the P320, which is more balanced. It doesn't really wanna turn out of your hand quite as bad. So I prefer the balance of the SIG and how it balances, but both guns are super, super pleasant to shoot. What I'd really like to try and do is maybe try this with the brass grips from Lock to really balance the, the gun. I think that this would be an absolute maniac with brass grips on it for like USPSA competition. I actually did shoot the P320 in a USPSA match earlier in the year, and it is honestly a pretty good all around gun. You can do a lot with this gun, even though it's not a steel frame, not quite as heavy, it's not gonna settle out on your target quite as well. But the way that they've machined out the frames, like the, the AXG grip module is absolutely fantastic. It just, it returns to zero really, really, really well. AXG. It's super comfortable. They did a really, really good job for different reasons. Now that's a non-answer. You just gave me a tie. You need to pick a gun that shoots better because that's what these videos are about, right? That's what you're thinking. Well, I guess if I were to say like, I'm gonna be shooting on a range absolutely all day in like a training class or like a major match or something like that, I would probably go with the Q4SF. It just seems to be a little bit more stable. It's not a huge difference between the two guns on how they behave, but I do prefer how this one behaves in recoil a bit better. Like, what it's like is like you've got two supercars, we'll just call them supercars, that maybe one is a little bit faster on paper than the other, but you're not a good enough driver to really exploit the difference between the two. Like you intellectually understand what the difference is, but you can't do anything with it. That's kind of what it's like between the two of these. So there's not really a loser when you, you force them between the two, but just the pride in ownership for the Q4 is a little bit higher because I think quality is just a little bit higher with the Q4. So that factors in and I realize that has nothing to do with how the gun shoots, but that's my reason and I'm sticking to it. As far as the optics cuts are concerned, uh, the, with the Walter, you're gonna give up your rear sight when you get the optic and they don't give you the optics plates when you get the gun. You have to request through their website. There's a form you fill out and they will send you an optics plate. I've had the gun for just over two weeks now and requested the optics plate. It hasn't come to me yet. Apparently it's been delayed. So hopefully next week the optics plate is going to show up. Whereas with the SIG, it is direct screwed into the slide. You just take the optic plate cover off, the optic threads down into the pocket. I've shot this with a Delta Point Pro and a Hollow Sun on it. They both worked just fine, but there are no recoil bosses on the SIG, which is kind of a bust in my opinion. You're relying on the fasteners at that point, which isn't the best way to put an optic on a gun. So I don't know, we'll see. I don't have the optic plate yet for the Q4. So we'll come back to that one. Both guns feature a full pick rail with three slots. Both guns have worn lights. I actually have been carrying the Q4 with a TLR1 on it so I could use my Filster floodlight holster. And despite being a little bit heavier, so while the Q4 is better part of a half pound heavier than the SIG, 
you can still absolutely carry it. It's, it's set up well enough to where it stays put in the holster. The SIG is actually quite comfortable to carry. I've carried this in my Harry's Holster Singleton. There's a link in the description with a discount code. You can save 10% on it. And it carries really, really well. So the aluminum grip module is really, really well set up for carry from SIG. And I really like the combination of the full size grip with the four inch slide. It's just a very easy gun to live with. It's not quite as heavy as a full length gun and it balances a little bit better. So I really like the AXG module for carry. As far as aftermarket is concerned, uh, what do you carry? You hate money. You can buy custom holsters for either gun. Holster availability for the P320 is going to be higher just because it fits all the existing P320 holsters. Whereas the Q4 takes its own special kind of holster. There haven't been that many of them out yet but you can absolutely find good holster options for this. Both of these guns have magazines that cost all the money with easy $40 plus price tags for extra magazines. Magazines are super high quality. With the Q4 SF, it does come with 15 round magazines. However, you can get 17 rounders that make it roughly the same height as the P320 because the Q4 SF is just a little bit shorter in the bottom of the grip than the P320 is. So in that regard, the Q4 might conceal a little bit better for you in the three o'clock position. So knowing what I know about both of these guns, I have had this gun for the better part of a year and I've only had this gun for just over two weeks. And if you make me pick one, you're like, well, this one is in the honeymoon period. Well, it was for the first week, but after the second week, you know, we were in a good getting to know you phase and I feel like we've got a good grip on who each other are as people. And so I feel good enough about these two guns that I can tell you what my preference is. And it's honestly the Q4. I think the Q4, it's just the pride, when you're spending this much money on a pistol, you want one that you can brag about. And despite the SIG coming with the challenge coin, which I guess matters to somebody, with the Q4 SF, it really comes down to pride of ownership for me because both of these guns are deadly accurate. The triggers are good, acceptably good, pretty great on the Q4 SF, but you just run the slide on the Q4 and it just, it feels like it's on rails. Like it's almost ball bearing, 1911 like on how it's fitted. It's not quite as good as a 1911, but it's better than pretty much all the other striker guns that are out there. The Q4 SF just feels like a precision gun. Like when I tell you it's a $1,300 pistol, you pick it up and you feel it and you mess with it and you pull the trigger on it and everything and you see just how short the reset is. I mean, it's everything that you would expect a $1,300 gun to be. It just is a really, really nice pistol. And it's all the small details with how the gun is put together. Like if you look at how the frame is relieved at the front above the pick rail, there's like three different elevations that have been milled into it. It was kind of almost like an Adidas logo sort of thing. That it's just a cool detail. The serrations that they give you are just a little bit more stylized and kind of cool looking. Out of the box, the gun is just on a different level from the P320 and it feels like it substantiates its price tag more. So. I'm really enjoying the Q4 SF. I really enjoyed my time so far with the Q4 SF. I look forward to shooting it some more, maybe running some IDPA type matches with the thing, but I've got 90 days with it and then I have to make the hard decision on whether to release it back into the world or to add it to the stable because it's a great pistol. So if you've made it this far in the video, sound off in the comments and let me know which pistol you'd pick and why, or why I'm an idiot for picking the Walter and should have picked the SIG. However you care to do it is fine. If you've made it this far, maybe check out this review on the P320AXG Scorpion and this video that YouTube has picked for you. I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.